Super Million here. And uh, I know a lot of people have seen uh, this all camos route or all camos in general. And it, a lot of people are interested in like learning how to do all camos and like other difficulties. So I wanted to do a guide for MGS3 all camos. Um, but I wanted to do very easy because I think it's a category a lot of people can do. Uh, really accessible. And I wanted to show the route and basically make a guide to help people who want to uh, run this category. So I'm going to start off by saying I'm going to assume that you already know the very easy route and you watch Major Zero's guide, which I'll post in the description. Really interesting. I really like how the round the run goes and I feel like more people should know the route. So this will be the guide if you're curious on how to do it and uh, hope more people go into this category because it's really interesting. So first of all, you have to play New Game because New Game Plus you get some camos already um, if you pick them up. So we got to go New Game. You typically on a very easy run you would do New Game Plus, but here we're gonna do we're gonna do New Game. Very easy. And yeah, let's get into it. So fun fact: there actually is no camos in the Virtuous Mission. So the world was split. Virtuous Mission is gonna be exactly the same. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. So if you're not interested in this part at all, you can skip to Operation Snake Eater. Jack? As uh, there's no there's no other difference here. So if you're curious about how I do a Virtuous Mission, you can watch. I'm already messed up. It's whatever. You typically want to not roll uh, crawl backwards, but it's fine. Also, I typically go, typically go right side, but autopilot to left side. Backpack here. There's stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk much about virtuous mission because it's not really much to talk about. It's just the normal route. I will assume that you've already watched Major Zero's run, uh, Major Zero's guide to very easy. So I'm not gonna cover the boss fights or anything like that because most of the boss fights um, are. Typically the same. I'm gonna go through the different variations you gotta do because you wanna get the camos. So yeah. I'm just gonna assume you know the routes and you know how to play very easy and you know what to do. As I don't need to cover that. The first camo we're going to get in Snake Eater uh, is going to be at the bridge, but it didn't spawn until Operation Snake Eater, so we really can't do much to get past this part. There's an alternate. I'm gonna show you guys an alternate way to do this room. By the way, if you're not comfortable doing the rolls, you can just shoot this guard. Move on. Like so. Luckily the loads on Xbox aren't that long. You can definitely get to this part pretty fast.
So, yeah. The roll here. Alright, so now we're in Operation Snake Eater. And the beginning of Operation Snake Eater is completely normal. You're still gonna have to go to the cuts and everything. There's no camos yet. So the run really hasn't changed much yet. Roll, get your train, get your easy gun out. Make these two guards. And the next room is going to be the first time we get camos. You don't have to shoot this guard, it doesn't actually matter. So I like to use the 3D camera for this part um, a little bit. I don't like I don't like watching walking on the bridge. Um, not much here. Uh, you can either roll to this part or you can just do this. You're gonna drop down here. Get your first camo, which is gonna be raindrop here. Roll the roll there is really tricky, so it can be kind of annoying. Um, the same things that happen here, by the way, you're not going to grab the box here, because it's faster to grab the box later. Because you're only going to need one menu the whole entire run. Um, one menu for the beginning of the game, essentially. We get that camo. Go over here. Now we Ocelot unit, which is this the same exact fight. You can do this lethally, it doesn't actually matter much, because... You don't really need to fight these guys on lethal. The, the, the cam will still spawn. I see it. Could be it. Yep. Alright, so. The next camera is coming up right now. It's going to be the zombie face paint. It's going to be faster to go to this window here. I, I, I like to uh, do that. Roll up this a little bit. Grab this. There you go. There's your, there's, there's your first face paint. Now the river, uh, actually not the river, the, the pond here. You're just going to mainly just go to the right. It's going to be the Gakko camo, and it's slightly to the right where you would normally go on VE, so... I'm just going to grab that and then, and then continue on. You'll see it coming up really soon. You don't want to grab the traps, though. The traps can kind of mess it. I like to walk over a little bit. You don't have to walk that way. Roll into the cutscene here. In like a typical VE run, you're not gonna cure the um, the leech because you don't have to. If you're not comfortable with having that leech, you can uh, remove it if you want. But HD edition, you don't have to. Over here, and the next camera you're gonna get is the, the chocolate chip camo, which is near the end of this room. So, this room's typically the same, it's just you need to grab the chocolate chip camo in the tree trunk near the end um, before you finish the room. And then, uh, obviously, you want to have your easy gun equipped like, the whole entire time because your stamina is draining and you want the 80% camo index. So, the camo is right here. Grab that. Now you have the chocolate trip camo. And this next one has two camos. It has... Uh, yeah, two camos. 
I'm just gonna follow this route. Have the easy gun on the whole entire time. There's gonna be a guard coming up soon that you want to trink. It doesn't matter too much if you don't trink them, but it's gonna be near the, near the ladder here. But yeah, you grab this face, the the snow face paint. The roll over here. I'm gonna try to roll over this again. You can walk around if you want to. Trink this guy. Climb up this ladder. And this is gonna be the next face paint here. I like to use. I mean, the next camo here, the water camo. Go over here. Go into this fence. And unequip your easy gun uh, for this next fight. I like to do it. You won't have to do it if you don't like it. If you don't like it, but I like to do it. And there you go. There's two camos. There you go, that's Ocelot. Now you want to grab the Animals Camo. You actually don't need the Animals Camo the whole entire run, but... On any other difficulty, you would want it. So we're just going to go to the caves normally, but we're going to have to do... We're going to have to use a glitch. Um, it's called the Vent Glitch. We're going to have to use it to get... Uh, after getting this next Camo. So it's a pretty tricky glitch. Um, I'm gonna have to explain a little bit. I'm gonna try and go through it as much as possible, but it can be a little finicky at first. All right, so. You're gonna go right here, and it's kind of important. Um, I would not you don't you don't want to grab this uh, shotgun here because it can kind of mess with your menus and also the ammo drops in the game. You stick right here. The shotgun's right there. You don't want that shotgun. You want to make sure you go past it and keep moving forward. All right, so now this is the next camo, okay? And now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the vent glitch, okay? So there's a vent right here. We're gonna glitch through it, and then we're gonna skip all the way to the pain fight. The way you do it is, I'll show you guys first. This is how you do it. So you go into prone here, right? You want to make sure Snake's feet are slightly inside the the hole here. Like that's good enough, right? You want to go in first person, you want to go to like slightly to the right. You don't want to go to right too much or it won't work. Then you're going to lean with the right trigger. And then you're going to hold A or hold uh, X if you're on PS PlayStation. Um, that wasn't far enough, but I'll show you guys again. You want to go more, more in actually. Do this. And if you hear that, then that's good. And now you're inside the vent. Um couple things uh, you want to make sure that snakes not too far into the vent or it won't work and not too out of the vent or also won't work um, and yeah that's about it and you don't want to look too far to the right or also won't work either so it's just follow what I just did there for it to work all right so this next part's really important okay so the load zone for the fight is like right here ish like where I'm shooting at you want to make sure you roll like right there. If you mess this roll up, your snake will fall down and just die. You'll hit a death plane. So you want to do a roll there. If you mess up, then you might die. Like that, we're good. Now we're in the pain boss fight. And the pain boss fight's exactly the same as you would do on very easy. You just do the fight as you normally would. Alright, so the pain's done with, and now you're gonna get his camo, which is the Hornet Strap camo. 
So you're gonna go to the right here. I'll just do a 3D camera here. You're gonna follow this path. Grab the camo and then jump in. And then continue on. So that so far we have all the possible camos we can have. That we need, essentially. And okay, continue on normally until we get to the lab. I mean not until we get to the lab, but until we get to warehouse one. That's gonna be the first change. Um with this part. Everything's just the same. You're gonna just, you know, get through this part. And typically, you don't want to you don't want to go up for air because your health bar doesn't actually matter in this category. It is important that you have the um, M1911 at the end of this at the end of this section, though. But you just want to swim forward. So I'm gonna show you the small optimization I do with this part. Um, to have the M1911 out. When this cutscene's done, I'm gonna hold shoot so Snake auto aims on the guard, and then I'm gonna move to the right a little bit. And that's it. How you can do a faster shot than normal is you auto aim on the guard, and then Snake aims in the direction of the barrel, and you slide to the right. All right, so here's warehouse one. We're gonna gra we're gonna grab the desert face paint as we're grabbing the box. So roll over here. You're gonna roll south here. And you're gonna grab the desert face paint, which is down here. And you're gonna grab the box at the same time. Roll here. Gonna keep rolling up, and then that's basically the big difference there. Huh? He's over there. Um. Alright, so lab, beginning part of lab is exactly the same. I like to use the, the 3D camera for this section. Makes it a little more simple of uh, under by climbing this, uh, by crawling through the space. A lot easier. Alright, so now we're gonna get some more camos. We're gonna shrink these two guards. Shrink this guy, shrink this guy. It's gonna be opening here, you can go through, and you are on to using this. Here, you're gonna use the D-pad for most of this part because it's faster to uh, go left and right than straight forward. You don't wanna, you don't wanna turn. Do that, D pad only movements. You need to go straight forward. And there's gonna be a camo on the second floor, which is the fly camo, and you want to uh, follow this route. You go this way, roll up these stairs. 
Roll up these stairs. That's a pretty bad roll, but it's fine. There's gonna be a guard right here. I'm gonna knock out. Then what you can do here is you can do two two punch punch kicks and then one punch. And then after this one punch, you're gonna you you want to flatten against this toilet here because you don't want to get hit by this door like this. And then you're out. Like that. And then the way you get out is you just roll out and you continue on with the with the uh, the section as normal. You also don't need a six spray here, by the way. Little stuff, you're just gonna do this, and then when you fight the fear, actually, I'll talk about it when we get to the fear, but nothing's really different. Here you want to make sure that you have stun grenades uh, ready because you're going to need it for the fear. menu but it's chill what? he wasn't dead after all pretty slow but it's fine here you're gonna grab the fierce camo right here Spider camo. Make sure you have the easy and equipped here. You're gonna do the section as you would normally. The only problem is gonna be kind of weird is your health be kind of low here, and you have to go all the way back for um. I think I saw some. For the um, the water face pain, and we have to go all the way back. But your health's gonna be really low here. If you're not comfortable with having your health low, you can uh, just. You're the poison. But for this sake, we're not gonna cure the poison. That's not necessary. But yeah, we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning of the river. It's really important that you do this. And this time you actually want to care about your um, stamina because you don't want to die. So up and get up. Do it again. You can lose some health if you want, but I would recommend just getting up for air every time your uh, your thing is about to be kind of low. Then you get it. Water face paint. You don't need any ammo there. And be careful about your stamina, by the way, because you want to make sure your stamina is above half, or else the uh, the end will be really hard. 
the end will be kind of weird. You don't really need to aim that well as much as you do normally, but um, I would be really wary about it. My health's kind of getting low here, but we don't really care about health on this difficulty as much. Alright, now next up is going to be a really hard camo to get. Probably the hardest camo for newer people to get. I might mess up here, um, but it's fine. Uh, it's going to be the, the Fierce Moss camo. So to, in order to get the Fierce Moss camo, you have to hold them up three times. Which can be tricky um, at first. But uh, I'll show you the ropes. Make sure that it's really imperative that you have the easy gun on at all times. So now, before this fight, you want to make sure your easy gun's unequipped because you want to make sure you can equip it as soon as possible here. And you want to make sure your easy gun's equipped because you need it for um, this next, uh, so you don't get spotted here. But what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go all the way to the end. And here, I would recommend just eating some food. Make it easy. If you ever see that your salmon is getting kind of lowish like that, you want to make sure you eat food. Either eat food or you can cure the leech. It's up to you, but you don't risk it. So follow exactly the same run I'm taking here. And make sure you have stun grenades equipped for this next part. It's very important that you do. I'm gonna roll up this, roll up this, roll up this, roll up this. Alright, so this next part is probably the most important part of the whole entire section, okay? So, if you look right in front of me, right? The end's right in front of me, right? You want to make sure you throw the sun grenade uh, at the ground so that the sun grenade actually triggers and it doesn't like jump off the cliff or whatever, right? Next up, you're going to shoot the end twice in the head with the easy gun and then you're going to aim at him um, and that will hold him up. So I'll show you guys really fast. Wait for that a little bit. Freeze. Okay, so I messed I messed up, but it's if you don't miss even second headshot, it's okay. You can just do that. Now you want to hold uh, your gun to his head so. a few times. I don't think so. Uh, fine, have this. And you want to shoot him twice. Roll into him. Wait over here. And I messed up, okay. Well, if that, if that happens, What's going use a fake death pill. If this ever, if this ever happens, you want to use a fake death pill, and then you can revive and shoot him. And if you shoot him, it, the, the, the fight's over, but I'm not gonna shoot him because I want to do the fight again. If, you're ev if the fight ever goes wrong like that, you can use a fake death pill and retry it. So I'll do the fight again. Hopefully don't mess up this time because you want to make sure you get two headshots on them. It can be kind of tricky at first.
No, I didn't pull them up. You. Gonna hold them up? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, here, take it and go. Okay, so if that happens, uh, if you're in a mess up like that, like I said, fake death pill, and then one more shot should end it. I, I would recommend just going for the fake death pill if you can't get that uh, correctly. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, here, take it and go. I've like that. That's how you do the fight. All right, so you're gonna continue on. This is gonna be your only menu of the game, so you're gonna do this. I put the cardboard box. Trip to Mosin, that's gonna be your whole entire menu. Um. <clears throat> And now we just chill for the next uh, minute and a half. A minute and a half. Actually, I don't know how long the section there even is. Alright, so most of mounds are exactly the same. You just gotta take a small detour to get the splitter camo coming up on mounds three. But everything you do here is pretty much exactly the same. You're not gonna really be doing much different. Yeah, mounds are exactly the same. You don't really need stuns here. You still have enough stuns. Pretty sure you do. You have four stuns here. Good. What the 
At least for regarding the game. Bark can be really annoying to deal with. That's why I usually train him, but I messed up. Uh, I like to grab the RPG here. You don't have to if you don't want to. This requires an extra menu, but I don't mind it. All right, so this is the this is one of the last camels we're gonna grab. We're gonna grab this camel right here. Splitter camo, and we're gonna scope the room and as we normally do. Thankfully, with the easy gun, you don't have to worry about messing up too much. Like, your movement doesn't be that good. It's just make sure the easy gun's on and you don't worry about anything else. And the Fury is going to be exactly the same. You just need to make sure you remember to grab his camo because if you miss his camo, you can't get it ever again. That's the case for a lot of the camos in this game, but especially for the Furies because the moment you get to Grazigrad, it's, it's done. So the camera's gonna be right here to the left. Make sure you grab that. And you don't need anything else. Alright, so this next part, uh, there's a lot of different routes to take with a Rykov, but it's going to be typically the same. There we go. That's how you want to do it. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. We're gonna go with the torture and everything.
Sir. Someone. Never do it. You! Born baby. <laughs> but not for long. Well then, let's get started. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? There's not gonna be another camo until we get our stuff back, by the way, so... Prison escape... Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We have one more camo. It's Sorrow's spirit camo. Which is important, actually. Really bad. You want to climb. You want to make sure you crawl into the vents, like facing forward, not backwards. Really bad. doing that uh my crawls have been really bad good idea
Alright, so for the Spirit's Camel, we have to walk all the way to the end of the river. It's gonna be really, really long. Because we've killed some people in this run, so it'll be a little longer. Mainly Ocelot unit. We have to walk to the, all the way to the end. This part is really, really long. Thankfully, no time in the sorrow actually counts towards the in-game timer. And uh, the spirit's attacks are all random, so he might attack you a lot. He might not attack you like at all. So, like, so far he hasn't attacked us at all. But he could easily attack us at any moment. If you want to avoid his attacks, make sure you you like. Uh, either switch sides from the left to the right, or you just hug the left. But no time in the sorrow counts your in-game timer, so it doesn't actually matter much at all. It's just real life time. This right here, you want to on the other side. I messed up, but... Yeah, you want to make sure that happens. If not, it, it, it's not like you're going to die or anything, it's just... Annoying. There you go, like that. That's how you want voice attacks. You want to switch from. You want to switch sides. Once you see the fury, you can just go straight forward. And we have the spirit camo now, which is really good. We only have a few camos left. So we actually have to go back for this one face paint. Uh, it's really easy to miss, but we have to get our stuff back, and then we have to go back to the uh, the waterfall. With the face paint, only a few more camos left in the, in the whole entire run. Alright, so we're going to do a different variation of the menu that we typically do here. So we're actually going to equip the Mosin. Uh, not just the SVD. 
In a typical VE run, you would not equip the Mosin, you would equip the SVD, but here we're going to use the Mosin because that's how we're going to fight Volgan. We wish you grab this box. We do our menu later. We'll do a menu up here. Because we don't want the M1911 in our inventory. So, backpack. Uh, cover box B. And equip easy gun, this, SVD, Mosin, RPG, stun grenade, and C3. Make sure you have easy gun equipped and then move forward. I think I saw something. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys a really interesting trick you can do that I figured out for the next coming room. So I'm going to equip the RPG here, and you guys will understand why. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to equip the fake death pill, just so you guys can see. Make sure you grab his ammo, by the way. You don't really need it, but it doesn't hurt. You, you, you typically grab an E. Alright, so you're going to, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to equip the, the fake death pill, so I can show you guys. So in this room, there's you have two different strats you can do, okay? You could be like, okay, I'm gonna just go to these lockers. There's two more camels here, sneaking suit and maintenance outfit. Go to these two lockers and grab them, right? Easy stuff. Do that and walk out. Or you can do the fun strat, which saves a little bit of time. Doesn't really save much, but it's funny. It's a very, very funny strat. You walk over here, you grab the RPG, you shoot this locker right here, and then you unequip it. Grab this, and then grab this, and then that's it. And then that's how you would do it. Here, this is what I like to do as well. This room's gonna be a little weird here. I am going to shoot this wall. We're gonna do the EE strat. Shoot the wall there. Over here. Make sure you make sure you knock the scientist, but this maintenance not maintenance worker, by the way. He can be really troublesome there. Make sure you get this guy as well. That's gonna be how you do that room. It's gonna be a little different. Um, you can do easy gun and not shoot the wall, but I'll shoot the wall. Okay, so this is gonna be Volgan. So with Volgan, you would typically fight him lethally, but in here, we're gonna have to fight him non-lethally. His non-lethal is... The only thing you need to be careful about is how you quick reload, because quick reloading can be kind of hard with a Mosin. Um, and if you're not comfortable with that, you can do you can uh, do a different variation. So I'll show you what you're supposed to do first. So you're gonna do the same strat you would do with the SVD. You're gonna run up to him, TC slam, you're gonna grab the Mosin out, and then you're gonna start shooting spots. Like that. That's it. And then next round, you would do what you would do on, e on VE as well. Wait for this to end. And then shoot him, and that's W the end of the fight. I'm gonna show you what you can do if you don't, if you're not comfortable with your quick reloads. He's dead already. So you, what you're gonna do instead, you're gonna hold him, you're gonna grab him first, and then you're gonna do a CQC uh, you shove. This gives you a lot more time to do it. So you're gonna shoot him with the Mosin. And if you miss that shot, you can shoot him right here and it'll end this, it'll end this section. And if you're not comfortable with doing what I did what I did there with the Mosin, you can just do this. You can equip the mask here. 
Go over here. Cross him up, walk behind him, and then start shooting him with the Mosin. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot easier. So typically, if you you have two choices there, you could either choose to do the normal strat, kind of risky, kind of hard. If your quick loading's not that good, or you can do the safer strats, which I showed there. So you can choose. Make sure you gotta grab a Cold War outfit. And I like to equip the easy gun here because you're gonna equip it later anyways. All right, now we wait, because none of this part actually matters. You're going to need to equip the RPG later, but not right now. But pretty much all this is going to be exactly the same. The only difference is you got to grab the boss's camo, and that's it. That's You basically collected every single camo in the game. You can skip all these parts if you're not interested in how the and like what and like uh, anything that's not all camos related, like this part. Um, you just go directly to the camo, but essentially everything's gonna be exactly the same. Here you're gonna put the RPG. Easier to do as part of the RPG. You can also use summon needs too if you don't want to like, use an RPG, but. I like it. These guards are important. These guards you have to kill. And then these guards you have to kill. And after that, you're basically done with the section. So these guys here. One last guy right here. That's it. Oh, wait for the Shagawad. You don't have to look at the sky. If you're playing on PS3, I would recommend looking at the sky, PS3, PS2, but you don't have to look at the sky here. On Xbox. Just waiting for the section to be done. Now, if you want to just move on to like the end of the run, you just go to the boss here and then watch 
the fight, and then we get the camo, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the whole entire run. So you basically watch the whole entire run, essentially, of all camos. But we need to get the boss's camo, it's really important. Once you, hit, once you hit that fetch hole, you don't have to be anything else anymore. This is me shooting for fun. I planted one C3 charm. Really bad fight, but it's fine. Right, there you go. This next part is us doing stuff for not for like ten minutes. So, would recommend everyone skip this part. <laughs> no one should really watch this part. It's just gonna be me looking at the sky and doing and not saying anything. So, yeah. I'll be. You guys can, you can watch this if you want to see the sky or whatever, but I'm not gonna be doing much.
Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I didn't. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, we're just going to... We're actually playing the game again. Only problem would be, you don't have to do anything there. Because you're so, like, busted, you don't have to do anything. Bediva. Let me have some more. I like to do this when I escort Eva because it lets you stay close to her while also moving kind of fast. Alright, and here we go. We're about to get our last camo of the game, which is the boss's snake camo. Which is basically just us fighting the boss normally. So no differences at all. Make sure you don't mess up. Then let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Excellent, Jack. Okay, we get the last camo, and that is MGS three very easy all camos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It's a pretty cool category if you guys have never seen all camos before. And I think this is a really accessible category for people who have never attempted it. Um, so I recommend giving it a go. You know, it's not that different. It's not that different, but it's really fun. And it's 
a cool way to play the game in a different way. So I would recommend it. Um, if you guys want to watch more MGS3, I have videos on my channel. I speedrun MGS3 on my Twitch all the time. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And try to get those runs. Try to do this category because it's a great category. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.